Hi, fifth graders. So this is our second lesson in our 13 colonies unit. And today we're going to have a lesson about Jamestown, which is one of the colonies. And we're gonna learn a lot more about Jamestown, but today is just a fun little game that we're gonna do um, that's a simulation. So um, in this game, you just need a piece of paper and something to write with. And um, the big question is, can you overcome the challenges that Jamestown colonists face? So in this game, you are an adventurer sailing to the new world, and you're trying to set up a colony for the Virginia Company of London. And so there are many investors, including the king and the queen, who have given you money for this expedition. Um, you're traveling with a bunch of different people who have all different kinds of professions or jobs. There's some um, gentlemen who are landowners. There's some skilled craftsmen. There's artisans who make things. There's doctors, laborers, and there's some young boys um, on the ship. So your goals for this expedition are first to explore and fortify the coastline for future English shipping trade. So you're trying to find out what the coastline's like and then um, make it um, easy for ships to come and dock there and um, ship things back and forth to England. And then you're also trying to find a trade route through America to Asia. So um, we know that that was a big goal. And then you want to discover and profit from the area's natural resources. So you're looking for all the things that the land can offer of value. And then you also want to set up a colony for um, the excess population in England because it's getting too crowded. People want their own land. So you're trying to set up a colony. Some things that you have to remember um, when you make some decisions are um, some of them are life or death decisions. So here's some things to remember about that. So we remember the Spanish conquistadors, they already had colonies in the Americas. So you wanna make sure that you set up your colony in a place where Spanish ships can't attack you. Um, you also know that there are Native Americans there. Um, Native Americans have already been um, meeting up with explorers and you know from the exploration unit that did not go well a lot of times so sometimes they are attacking colonies because they feel threatened and so you want to make sure you build your colony quickly and make sure it can protect you from attacks from anybody um, also you know you might want to think about how you're going to establish a relationship with the native americans and then you also want to remember that um, many of the men aboard are gentlemen and they don't really like physical labor. So they are kind of like these wealthy landowners and they're not like super good at doing the things on the land like building and farming. Um, they are more interested in exploring and finding gold so that that's what they really want to do. Um, also, got to remember that the people you're exploring with are very religious and they won't, they'll, they're they going to want some place to worship, like a chapel. Um, you also definitely need shelter, a uh, place to sleep, place to store food. And um, your ship is carrying a lot of grain seed to plant with, but you really don't know if the climate in Virginia is going to produce healthy crops for you. So you have that, but you're not sure. So if your expedition is successful, then the Virginia Company of London is going to send a bunch of supply ships um, with all kinds of goods and they'll send more colonists and, um, and you guys will be all set up and you'll be able to set up your colony, okay? So we're gonna get started. So you should have a, um, so I want you to take your piece of paper and all you need to do is number your paper one through eight and what you're going to do is for each of those um, numbers next to it, you're going to write your decision. And I kind of made, um, I capitalized a key word that you can just write down so you don't have to write the whole thing down, okay? It's just really to record what you're thinking. Um, different people are going to take a different amount of time to think about 
their answer and consider all the choices. So I'm going to suggest you pause the video if you need what for as long as you need thinking time. That way everybody has the amount of time they need. Okay, at the very end, we'll t I'll tell you guys all about what they really did in Jamestown and we can total up the points so that you can see how successful you were. Okay, we're gonna get started. So the very first decision, decision one, is where will you live? So your choice is you can choose to live on the coast with an ocean view. So if that's interesting to you and you think that's a good place to live, you would just write coast next to number one. Um, you could choose to live in a hidden upriver or hidden upriver in the marshy wetlands. So if the wetlands are where you want to live, you'd write wetlands next to number one. You can go inland. So that means you would be um, surrounded by land and you'd be away from the ocean. So if you want to be inland, you can write that for number one. Or you can live on an island near the mainland, but remember an island is surrounded by water. So if you want to live on an island, you would write the word island next to number one. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video if you need to take a little bit more time to think about that. Decision two, what type of structure will you build? So now that you've picked a place to live, you need to figure out if you're going to build a town and that's going to take two months to build. Or you could build like a really big wooden fort that houses a lot of people. Um, that would take about six months to build. Or you can make a stone castle. Now that's going to take two years to build, 24 months, two years, okay? But all of those things have different, um, different advantages. So I want you to pause the video and think about what you would um, choose. And next to number two, you're either going to write town, fort, or castle. Hey, you're ready for number three. What will your first interactions with the Native Americans be? So um, after you land, a few days after you land, the uh, a, a group of Native Americans is spotted and you and the people in your colony need to figure out like, what are you gonna do about this? So your choices would be to attack them before they can attack you, get it all organized and just go attack them. Or you could try to establish peace with the tribe. So maybe go up to them, try to try to set some, um, set some peace offering or, or figure out a way to offer peace to them. Or you can you could just try to establish peace and um, and present some trade agreements with them to see if they want to start trading with you. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video so that you can think about that. And then next to number three, you're either going to write attack, peace, or trade. All right. So number four, you are going to be deciding what you're going to build next. So. Um, you have your structure completed. You either built a fort, a town, or a castle. And um, now you need to build some community buildings because you've got some people with you. So you get to choose two of these to build. Um, so next to number four, you're gonna write two words. So um, one is to build a church. You could also choose to build a dance hall. Um, and remember people in the colonies they use dance halls to gather too. Uh, a food storehouse could be a choice or more housing for the colonists or a city hall. So you're gonna choose two of those. So next to number four, you will write two of those options. Go ahead and pause the video and think about it. All right, number five, fifth decision. What are you doing during your free time? Even colonists who work really hard are going to have a little bit of free time. So you get to choose one thing that you're going to do mostly with your free time. So you can explore. So if that's interesting to you, write that next to number five. Hunt, fish, you can look for gold, or you can begin farming. So you're going to write one of those choices next to number five. Explore, hunt, fish, gold, or farming. Actually, you've got more than a, you've got more than that free time. Why don't you go ahead and write two of those? So you get to pick two. 
explore, hunt, fish, gold, or farming. You get to pick two things that you want to spend your free time on. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to um, think about it. Number six is you're going to do some farming because you have to. There's no grocery stores. So you've got to figure out what you're going to farm. Okay, remember that you might be trading, um, you might be using this to eat, um, but you have four fields, okay? So you can plant crops, so you can only plant one crop in each field, okay? So um, you could plant four fields of corn, four fields of tobacco, four fields of wheat, or you can mix it up. Like you could do one corn, two tobacco, and one wheat field, or you could do like three tobacco fields and one wheat field, or you could do three wheat fields and one corn field. So you need to decide. You could do two tobacco fields and two corn fields. It just has to add up to four, okay? So go ahead and next to number six, you're gonna write four words. So you're either gonna write like corn, 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 if you want them all to be um, the same crop, all four fields, or you're gonna mix it up like corn, wheat, wheat, tobacco. Hope that makes sense. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to have time to think about that. All right, so now that you've planted your fields, um, you're going to um, experience a siege. So a siege means like an attack. And so the Native Americans have laid siege to to your structure. So whatever structure you chose to build, either the castle, the fort, or the town, the um, Native Americans have attacked. And you are stuck inside, kind of like our quarantine. And um, you're running out of food because you, you know, you've been trying to um, keep yourself safe, but you need food. So you have to make a decision about what you're going to do and what you're going to advise the people in your colony to do. So are you going to sneak out at night and look for food? So if you wanna do that, you would write sneak out next to number seven. Or are you gonna wait and hope that the Native Americans will leave? So just try to wait it out and maybe the Native Americans will just figure you're not coming out and go away. Or are you going to abandon your colony and just run because you don't think that it's gonna go well? So you're either gonna write sneak out, wait, or run next to number seven. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to think about that. All right, the last decision. Um, you just found out that some supply ships are, are sailing to your colony from England. So that's very exciting. You get to order new supplies from the colony. So you get to choose two of these supplies to order. So, um, Pitch and tar for your roof. Pitch and tar would be the things that like seal up your roof to, to keep it protected from the weather. Um, it also would keep it warm. So you can choose that. Um, you could choose lumber, which would be wood. You could choose skilled laborers. So um, this would be like jewelers, carpenters, blacksmiths. So they, they, you, could, um, you could pay to have some of these people come over and join your colony. You could um, ask for more food for the winter. Um, you could get some iron to use for um, different tools and things, or you can order some guns and cannons, okay? So you have two options, like guns and cannons is one option. You would just get like a, a mixture of guns and cannons, I guess, okay? Pitch and tar would be one option. So if you get pitch and tar, that's like counts as one of your options. So you get to pick two. So go ahead and pause the video and write down two of the things that you want to order and have those ships bring to you. You can write, write that next to number eight. All right, now that you have all eight of your answers, it's going to be time to record and tally your points. So what we're gonna do is I am gonna tell you what really happened at Jamestown after I show you the, the, the decision um, and then I will show you how many points you get for each of your answers, okay? You can pause the video at any time if you need to pause it and record it. So it's, you could go at your own pace. And then at the very end, we're gonna total up points and see how successful everybody was. Um, 
If we were in the classroom, this would be super fun and you guys would have planned this together because you would have been a colony. Um, so um, I really want you guys to share this on Schoology so we can see how many points people got and, um, and what you would do differently if you had a chance to do it over again, okay? So here we go. So the first one, where will you live? So um, you've been on this ship for 144 days and you, you get to Virginia. Um, what really happened at Jamestown? They decided mostly to settle upriver in the marshy wetlands. That's what they really did. Um, this location hid them from the Spanish warships and it also made, the, made it easy to defend um, from Native Americans because they had coverage and um, it made it easy to do that. So um, that's what really happened at Jamestown. So for yours, if you picked coast, you get five points. If you picked wetlands, what really happened, you get 10 points. If you picked inland, you get eight. And if you picked islands, you get two. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to write that down. And then we'll go to number two. What type of structure will you build? So um, the Jamestown Colony decided that the wooden fort was what they wanted to build. They thought that was the best choice. So um, they, they built the fort in the shape of a triangle and they put a cannon on each corner. Um, they figured that the stone castle would take way too long and um, that a town would be really hard to defend against attacks. So that's why they chose the fort. So you guys, if you chose a town, you get five points. If you chose a wooden fort, you get 10. And if you chose a stone castle, you get two because that would have taken way too long. I kind of wondered in this question, like why, what did they live in while the wooden fort was being built? Hmm. Okay, number three, what will your first interaction with the Native Americans be? So, um, what in Jamestown, what the colonists did was they kind of started off with a rocky relationship with, with um, the Powhatan Indians. They, they, it didn't go real well. Um, about three days in after the arrival, they got attacked by this tribe. And, um, and what followed was kind of like seasons and seasons. So a good number of seasons of just kind of um, uneasy trading so that like it, they kind of traded, but it was it was rough. Um, it, they weren't really like that friendly with each other. And they did go, they did have war occasionally between um, the colonists and the Powhatan tribe. So it didn't go super well. Um, so if you decided to attack, you get zero because that is just not a good way to start a relationship with anybody. If you get, if you chose peace, um, five, that's a good start. But if you decided peace and to try to start trading, that's 10 because um, that's what you're really building towards with the Native Americans is definitely peace and then trading so you guys can help each other. Okay, four, what are you going to build next? So um, you get to build, you, you got to choose two of these things. Um, the colonists, what they really did was they built a church and they built food storehouse and they, they did build some housing um, within the walls of the fort. So it was like a huge triangular fort and then there were like little houses inside. Um, religion was super important to them. So building the church was their top priority. It was the thing they wanted to do the most. And it was also important to build that housing and to build a storehouse for food because they knew winter, you know, winter was going to be a big deal. So if you pick church, you get five points. Dance hall, two, wasn't as important. Food storehouse, five. Housing, five. City hall, two. They weren't quite ready, you know, ready to do a city hall yet. The next one, what are you going to do during your free time? And remember, you, you got to pick two of these. So, um, in the beginning, when the colonists first settled in Jamestown, they used their free time to go exploring. That, I mean, that makes a lot of sense because they're in a new place and they were looking for gold. I mean, they really wanted that wealth. Um, they only found what's called fool's gold. So it kind of looked like gold, but it wasn't really gold. Um, so 
what ended up happening is because everybody was exploring and looking for gold, not enough people were hunting and fishing and farming, which produces food. So um, the colonists started to starve, and that was not good. And then there was John Smith, who we'll learn about. He declared, he that will not work shall not eat. So you made a really good choice if you decided to hunt, fish, or farm during your free time because you get to eat the food that you produced. So if you are exploring, two points, hunting, five points, fishing, five points, gold, two points, and farming, five points. So you have to add your points together for each of your choices. All right, decision six. Um, which crops did you plant? So you had four fields. So what actually happened was the colonists grew a lot of different crops. They grew corn, wheat, and tobacco. Um, due to the climate, the wheat did not really grow very well. And I gave you a warning about that at the beginning of this video. Um, the corn, though, it just like went crazy and it totally thrived. It became a favorite thing for the colonists. Um, they couldn't eat tobacco, but they were able to sell it for a profit. So that was also a good choice. So for every cornfield that you plant, planted, you got five points. Um, for every tobacco field you planted, you get three points and you only get one point for a wheat field. Okay, so go ahead and add those up. You'll have to add those up. So if you had, if you had four cornfields, you could get 20 points. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and add that up if you need some time. All right, and then there was the siege. So um, during the siege of James, Jamestown, this really happened, some of the colonists left the fort and they started looking for food. Most of those people, even though they snuck out at night, were caught and they were killed by the Native Americans. Um, others tried to wait for the siege to end, um, but about two thirds of them died of starvation because you know it was too long to wait and they didn't have any food. Um, and some of them got sick with disease. So, um, so then they abandoned the colony after that. Um, after they abandoned the colony, the supply ships arrived from England and um, new colonists convinced the survivors to return to the fort and um, continue the colony. So, um, so a lot of people died in this. If you decided to sneak out for food, you do get five points because, you know, that's something. If you decide to wait it out, you get 10 points because you lived a little bit longer. If you decided to abandon your colony and run, you also get 10 points because um, it didn't really solve any problems, but um, you ended up being able to stick around. And then the very last one. So more supply ships were coming and you got to order, um, order some food so, or order some supplies. So um, what really happened in Jamestown was they received a lot of supplies from England. The most useful thing that you could order from England was skilled laborers, iron, and food for the winter because those things could provide more to the colonists. Um, they didn't really need lumber because there were so many trees around Jamestown, so they didn't need that. Um, guns and cannons, those were important. They already had cannons on their fort. Um, pitch and tar for your roofs, important also, but, um, but really just having those skilled laborers, food for the winter, and iron were the most important. So pitch and tar for the roof, you get five points, and you got to choose two of these, so you'll have to add your points up. Um, lumber, you get three. Skilled laborers, 10 points. Food for the winter, 10 points. Iron, 10 points, because those were the most important. Guns and cannons, five points. Okay, so go ahead and add that up. And um, now you're gonna figure out were you successful? So you're gonna add up all your points for all eight questions. And what I would like you to do is go to Schoology and um, linked to this assignment is the discussion questions. First, how many points did you earn? Um, check out some how many points your friends earned too. And then what would you do differently if you could play again? So what do you think would give you the most points or what what do you kind of regret now that you know what they really did in Jamestown and then what do you think the most interesting thing is that you've learned about Jamestown so far um or you could actually write a question about Jamestown if you have a question we're going to learn more about Jamestown in the next lesson so 
Um, I hope you guys had fun playing the game. I wish I could have played it with you guys together in the classroom because I think it would have been really fun. Um, and I miss you all, and I will see you next time. All right.